Hello all, just a little insight into our operation, or operations, I have to be quick actually because it looks like it's going to rain. There's the van, there's mum's drive, so we're lucky enough to have a driveway except we can't build the van here. But I have, from electrician days, I have now shed at mother's, which has, it's like a cave of wonders. So step into my, my world. We've been collecting wood, all this wood here. That's actually from an old bed when we moved house. Dismantled the bed. That's a bit of wood from the bed. Lots of little bits. A lot of this is from actually when we built Vandercamp. We just kept it, so we're lucky enough to have a bit of storage space. And then tools, bike, and then all this stuff we've got like spirit adhesives um, what else do we have Anything and stuff tools paints yeah everything so that's our operation um, so we've got to load all this up into the van with all our tools and bits and then we're going to Nemi's mum's because she's got a garage and a bigger drive to work on the beast turn it from a van into a home so yeah, we'll keep you updated on little things that are happening. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this done before it starts raining. Happy days. Hello, everybody. So just a little video of what we're up with at the moment. As you can see it's full of stuff so we have random bits of wood we've actually got a gypsy chest which we're going to try and fit into the van somewhere just because it looks cool um we've got a fridge there's an oven down there a bit of insulation we've just been collecting stuff messaging people and see what spare things they've got and yeah as you can see cramming it into the van so we've got some wall units We'll tart them up a bit, but yeah, three wall units. So we've got four of them, two little ones. Um, yeah, the plan at the minute is we've got these, this loop now, we've got these reinforced bits of aluminium and bits of wood on the side, it's purely just for clipping stuff too. When obviously you're loading the van up with um, moving things around. And these as well, so you can obviously clip in, put a bar in there, and it'll hold items that you're transporting. And these are layered to put ratchet straps like we've done to hold things like a fridge. But obviously all this adds to weight, and we don't need it, so we're going to take all these bits of wood off. Um, and then these, I think these are more like, I don't know, smash panel or something, like to protect this bulkhead. So if you're carrying big heavy items, they're sliding around or something for them to strap onto. So we're gonna take these off. Um, it's only aluminium. So you can see there, it's quite light, but see it all adds up in the end. Um, we've got a little leak, which is patched, well, attempts to be patched up before, not by us. So we're gonna redo that from above. Um, the roof is very flimsy, so obviously it can't take our weight on this. So what we'll do, we're gonna batten the ceiling across with wood, just so it's a bit more reinforced. And then if we do need to get on the roof, which we'll obviously put our solar panels up there, but to get on the roof, we'll be able to bear a bit of weight onto these then. So yeah, these aluminium pots are only fixed in by, just like tech screws self-driving tech screws so they're easy enough to remove so we'll take those out and we can reuse those after they're fine there's no point buying new ones if we can reuse them so yeah I'm gonna go ahead get rid of all these <laughs> Okay, these wood pots here, they just come off. Just unscrew them. They're just simple 
self tapping screws again so we'll keep them for later and that will literally just come off so I'm going to go around and get all them off we'll try obviously all our stuff in the way make a bit more space on the walls <laughs> So I've taken off the wooden buttons off the wall here and also taken off the aluminium supports. Well, not supports, but I don't know what they were actually. Protection for this part, because this is the outer shell of the loot in here. See, it's very flimsy. Also the bonus of removing everything and there was a piece of wood that ran sort of a thick piece that went along there <clears throat> like a bit of ply and it catches everything so whoever's had the van before has obviously been delivering and we found some makeup for the wife lots of things instructions and it's quite damp behind there so I imagine it's condensations getting in running down because this is only aluminium and then getting into the gap you can see how muck it is so I'm gonna get the hoover get mother's hoover and not tell her <laughs> clean all that out and I mean it's a good idea to do this and leave it maybe a good few days to let it dry out um, but the issue we've got after is obviously if condensation on this if it's gonna run down there whether it needs holes for it to escape, I'm not sure yet. So that's something we need to think about because condensation is not our friend. Um, but you can see how much better, it, how much cleaner it is now. The walls, obviously, without the wood on it. Um, the other thing is these bits of wood. I think they're there to protect and to stop the outer panels. This panel from rattling, and these are glued on. Obviously, because we're thinking again it's spray foamed, we may need to take all those off. So that could be the next one. So yeah, it'd be a nice bonfire at the end if we're not going to use any of the wood. But yeah, you can see how it was before. Look, these bits of wood that were on, so they've all come off. So yeah, carry on. Two and a half, and there's well, there's a lot to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, I did. seven. I put all that back neat and tidy and everything as well. Get it all off again. Oh well, Let's roll on. So we're taking them off, so we've got a clean surface for the insulation to stick to, and. The wife has got the best job because <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello all, this is day two of just clean and prepping. As you can see, my Yay. slave is hard at work with the gloves on. Um, we removed all the boards, removed the wooden things, supports, and yeah, cleaning. So you can see. Yeah. Oh, it didn't actually come off. Oh, it didn't come off and look mucky. Your dirty do. Yeah. But yeah, obviously it's used for a van for years, so it's covered in muck. So, oh. oh. So rather than, <laughs> so I thought we'd clean it so when the insulation goes on, it can stick to this bit and not the dirt, so it won't stick to. Plus it'll smell better, because it'll smell of um, Aldi washing up liquid, which smells lovely. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray!